Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some more plays for you guys today out of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook. If you guys don't know, I've been rocking it with this playbook for close to a month now. I think that's pretty much going to be the theme of this channel. I'm pretty much going to change playbooks every month and try to flush out as much good stuff as possible because there's so many great plays in this game. There's so many great playbooks. There's no reason for me to just stick with one the entire year. I'm really trying to get as much content, as much variation out as possible. Uh, and I'm going to be doing the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers probably for uh, maybe another week or so before I move on. So let me know in the comment section what playbook you would like me to do next uh, for next month. Uh, it, you know, I really haven't done the Saints in a while. I haven't done the Raiders in a while. I know they'll get a lot of votes, but I'd really like some off uh, offbeat playbooks. Let me know in the comment section what you guys would like to see me focus on. But for now, I've already put out a ton of great passing plays out of this formation, so I'll put links in the description for people that missed those. Other than that, the formations that I'm going to focus on, number one, I'm going to focus on the single back ace. This is one of my go-tos from way back when I was using the Niners uh, playbook more often, uh, and I'm going to go over that today. I also have some really good plays out of the wing pair. If you guys want to see a future video about the wing pair, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. But today, both of these formations, really, I'm really going to be focusing on the meta coverages uh, when it comes to uh, defense, which is like 3-5 through five wide and cover 1, cover 3. Those are, to me, or cover 0, rather, and cover 3. Those are, to me, the, the formations that I see the most, uh, and these are really good formations for those so i'm going to show mostly just the run plays now i'll go ahead and i'll put them in my audibles uh one of them's already in there the zone weak alert z smoke i'm also going to put the uh the stretch alert x smoke uh the skinny pose is important i'll leave that in there that's going to be the probably the one pass play that i'm going to show the rest of the pass plays as always will be on my patreon or on my join now community tab if you guys want to see that you can click the links now um or hit the join button whatever or if you want to see them in future videos, I will have this, you know, I was thinking, because I'm going on vacation to Florida in about a week or so. So if you guys want to see full breakdowns of these offenses, just hit the like button on them and I'll put them out when I'm on vacation. So that's definitely going to be something that I could do. Another good play is definitely going to be the jet sweep. But there's more plays than I really have audibles for. The toss crack and the counter are also very good plays. So I guess I'll have to take the skinny post out for now. I'll put the toss crack in there. And then the last play, the fifth play that I'll select will be the halfback counter. That's why I like this formation. There's so many great run plays i barely even have enough to choose all of them so i have all five in that i want now before i get into the video as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at mmoxp.com if you guys are trying to get your mutt team up uh like mine check them out link in the description below use discount code money shot to get five percent off now as far as this formation goes i love the fact that i can just flat out flip this play without any real animation you know it's an even formation so it's not like some other formations where the entire you know formation has to change receiver move all that stuff so if i'm looking at something like this where i obviously have an extra defender in the box on the right side there um, that superstar defender really doesn't look like my blocker would be able to get outside of that i could easily flip this i'm not saying this is the best run but i'm just saying with all these plays you can easily flip this play and your opponent will never be the wiser you can always go away from uh you know what whatever they're trying to set up so based off of that alone this formation i absolutely love when it comes to running plays i will go ahead and i will run this and you will see like i said i mean that was an off coverage anytime you see an off coverage you can steal this stretch play pretty much all game but that's not even the best part one of the best parts about the stretch plays if you have what looks like right here you have what looks like a cover three I typically am going to try to throw this ball. You know I mean, if it's an off coverage. Now, that was a man coverage. You can see the guy came straight forward. That was a bad read on me. But if it is an off coverage, if it is a man coverage, like this here probably looks more like a cover two. Um, you know, off coverages for, for this particular play, like cover three, cover four, where the cornerbacks drop back, you're going to have an easy catch and run, and I'm going to do that a lot. The stretch is really good for cover three and cover four as well. Since we're already pretty much showing that, we do look like we have a box safety there. I will flip this play. Let's go and let's try to run this one more time. Like I said, we got that off coverage. I will steal this a lot. You know what I mean? This is something where there, I didn't do a great job. He did come make the play. But against cover threes and cover fours, which obviously are two of the more popular defenses online, this stretch play is going to be very key based off the fact that the stretch run is going to be good against those off coverages 
and the smoke's going to be good against those off coverages. You also have this uh, stretch alert, I'm sorry, zone weak alert Z smoke. As far as a run play is concerned, I think this is probably a better run play. We have a good opportunity right here because that linebacker's off the line or that safety, whoever, is off the line. This is a good look right here. We can try to run this, and it's better to me than the stretch plays. The zone weaks are better. So I really like these two plays are probably my main two plays. I'm glad that I really got a chance to look at them first. Um, after that, I mean, it's really just a space read. Like the toss crack, you know, this is a play I, I don't find. This is probably the least successful. I find the jet sweep and the uh, the the play that I'm on the counter are probably the two most successful after these two top plays. Now, as far as the jet sweep goes, this is another play. Cover three, cover four, off coverages. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll try to run it here. I mean, this looks like more like a cover two. This is not necessarily a defense that I would say running this against, but you can see it worked out. You know what I mean? Like, this is a, a very good play. And then once again, this entire uh, package of plays, I haven't run the toss crack yet. I'll probably run that next. But this entire package of plays is really based off of their all gradients cover three the jet sweep the zone uh z smoke and the stretch alert z smoke they're all cover three based and that's pretty much the, the main defense that most people are running uh you know when you play online so based off of that fact that's why this is one of the better running formations in the game right now in my opinion uh when it comes to uh, a look like this i mean i could easily you know if you go with the jet sweep the jet sweep is probably best when it's a tight pack defensive box and all out blitz, something like that. That's probably the best time, the optimized time to go with the jet sweep. So based off the fact that against cover three, I have two different options, which is the, the stretch or the pass, I would say it really be best to run this type of play. Um, if you have a little bit fast receivers, I mean, I don't really have like the fastest, you know, receivers running this. They're, they're good receivers. Here's another good look. I mean, I could definitely go with the counter play. Like I said, that's spread enough. Uh, we're going to definitely have some success. So, like I said, all these plays have success in different ways. You really just have to know what you're looking at. Now, when it comes to the counter play, I always want to slow down and show this because there's two different ways this edge defender can react, and that's pretty much the player that you're reading. When he, uh, If he hesitates like he does here, you typically want to either go outside. I went inside because he still had outside leverage. You probably would have made a play. Uh, but typically on a, when he when he reacts like this you typically want to go outside i went inside and i was pretty lucky that this guy coming across the line didn't catch up with me uh, but it's pretty much an inside or outside read there's only two holes to hit uh, and you're really reading that guy if he comes aggressive if he doesn't stop and he just basically flies down you have to go inside when he's when he's when he's passive like that you have your option so now that we basically um you know we the run plays if you're going to come out of this formation it's really all about running the football uh, we might as well touch on the probably the most important pass play, and that's the skinny post. Now, the skinny post is going to be a play that should work against most defenses. It's not going to have success against uh, cover two zones, but, um, you know, a lot of good defenses. It's really a specifically based uh, cover three play for the most part and cover one. Uh, but I'll go ahead and I'll pick random and show how it can, it can work against most defenses. So let's go and just pick a random nickel again. Like I said, I'm really looking like right here. Those safeties are kind of right in the way. So this is not a look for that. But since it's a man coverage, you can see they're going to beat that man coverage. Pretty much any man coverage. Like right there, that's probably a man zero. It's going to beat that. Against man, against, you know, cover two is probably going to give it the most issues. But against, um, you know, cover two zone, you might be able to make that throw. Here we got that, that cover three, which is what I want. I'll low throw that. You know what I mean? That's, that's pretty much the look right there. That's why, you know, this is one of the better plays to go to. Right here, this looks like an obvious cover three. We're going to have these guys open here. Um, every time they make that break, they're going to be open. And on both sides, I'm typically low passing and hitting the, uh, you know, the receiver on the uh, on the right because I think that, you know, Mike Evans is just a bigger target. But you can go on other, either side. That's the thing about this particular play. And then here it looks like we're going to have, that looks like, I don't know what that was. That might have been a cover two. But you can see, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm running against random defenses. I'm not really making a ton of reads. Uh, cover four is another play I can typically give it problems. Uh, but you can see, I don't know what happened there. I guess I got sacked. But you can see they're open every single time, which is what makes this play uh, such a good play to, uh, to run. Now here we got that. That guy lurking in the middle that's going to be a little bit of a different look that looked like the cover two zone if i went to the replay i'm sure like i said i'm not really making pre-snap reads i'm just kind of running it i'm sure this is a cover two zone I, I did see the safeties at the very least just sitting back and you can see we have that classic cover two setup where you got your middle linebacker in a mid in a mid zone mid read um, you know, this is this is going to be the one defense that really gives this problems as far as those receivers go. But you can see the flats are still there. If I would have made that read uh, early enough, I could have switched it to the checkdowns. So you can see this play is really going to have success against just about anything. So like I said, if I just make my reads a little bit, 
uh, we're going to have a lot more success. And you can see, like I said, I'm really locked in there. But the skinny post is just a really hard to stop play. It's one of the harder to stop, uh, you know, route concepts based off the fact that it's just it's just like stealing. It's like easy money. So without a doubt, like I said, that's as about as easy as it gets. But I will have all the passing plays uh, in a week or so uh, when I'm in Florida. So if you guys want to see that, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, it's going to be in uh, my Patreon and on my Join Out Community tab uh, right now. So you can check out the full scheme and more Tampa Bay Buccaneers stuff because I'll actually have a lot of pre-recorded stuff on there uh, for you know when that uh, when that happens when I go to Florida in a, in a couple of weeks so hit the like button let me know in the comment section if you want to see that other than that thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below